Good morning. It's actually morning this time when I said that. I'm not lying to you this time. Welcome back to another vlog. How do I like get my whole outfit in this thing? I literally have the tripod for my camera on top of the tripod for my phone. So this is a little dangerous. I'm so excited because today I'm going to be getting my first puppy. Um, April Fool's. No, I'm just kidding. I literally wish I five minutes trying to come up with an April Fool's joke and that's all I could think of. So April Fool's. It's April 1st. Surprise. I realized from making a couple vlogs now that I talk really slow, which I did not realize. I think I'm still like getting used to talking to the camera. So I'm trying to like articulate my thoughts and then they come out really slowly. Like, I don't know if I talk like this in real life. I'm going to try to actually talk at a normal pace like a normal person in this vlog. So yes, it's the first week of April. So I thought we could do a little weekly vlog once again. I'm not going anywhere today. I just need to make a TikTok of Princess Polly Hall. Also, look at these. Um, I never thought I would wear a ballet flat again in my life. And I honestly probably won't wear a ballet flat again in my life. Oh, okay. But I love these pumps. I just think these are so adorable. I couldn't pass them up. My middle school self would be so proud of me for wearing these again. Sorry, I keep like backing up. I'm standing really far away because I have a lot of forehead pimples, which is really triggering me because I normally never do, which is like, oh my god, I don't have pimples, but like usually don't break out on my forehead anymore because I did a lot in college and then I had to go on spironolactin, spironolactone whatever that is and i hated it and it made me really dizzy all the time and i couldn't drink as much caffeine as i usually like to have like 20 coffees in a day so i'm just getting really triggered by the forehead breakout so i'm just gonna stand back here so you don't have to look at that i have work at two today so nothing crazy is happening today i just wanted to start this vlog out but tomorrow my long distance boyfriend driving 11 hours or whatever it is from utah down to california so he's gonna stop hang out with his friends in LA, and then tomorrow I'm gonna see him after work. So yeah, this week should be super fun, super exciting. But we can hang out with him, you can hang out with me. I'll take you to work maybe, like to my other job, not the job I have tonight, but the job I have tomorrow. So it's gonna be a fun time and it's gonna be a fun vlog. I will keep you posted. I'm on my way to work now, got my yerb. Oh no, you can see my pimples in that light, okay. Um, I unfortunately have to go to Starbucks because I don't have any food in my house. Waiting till Alex gets here to go grocery shopping so we can get stuff together. But yeah, I can't get a coffee because I've already had a yerb and a at-home coffee this morning. But that would just be a little extreme. I might go crazy and get a matcha because I am on my parents' Starbucks account. So I thought in the spirit of April Fool's Day, I could recount some of my recent April Fool's um, experiences. Not this past year, but the year before that is the last time I remember something actually happening on April Fool's Day. So flashback two years. I was a junior in college. Um, You know how that is. We were partying a lot, you know, the drill. So I was out one night and I think my friend and her boyfriend stayed in, or at least her boyfriend did, her boyfriend at the time. And he just just felt like being a little prankster. Well, actually, I don't really know who was in on it. I don't know where I was, actually. I'm just telling lies left and right. I was somewhere and other people were home, but I know the main culprit was my friend's boyfriend. But he decided to put Bacardi in my water bottles in my mini fridge in my room, which is just so silly and fun. So I got home from drinking and I was like, I'm not gonna be hungover tomorrow. I'm going to drink my water and I'm gonna have such good hydration and good rest and I'm gonna feel great tomorrow. Um, I go into my fridge grab the first water bottle i can find because i'm pretty sure i just had a bunch of plastic ones of course i pick the one probably because he strategically placed it hang on one sec thanks anyways the exact water bottle that i carefully chose to hydrate me and that i trusted i'm pretty sure that i didn't even really notice like i like half knew that something was wrong but at the same time i was like am i just making this up in my own head then i woke up to the pleasure of having hot sauce in my toothpaste and looking back on it, I honestly don't really see how that was an April Fool's joke. It was just a cruel, cruel prank that hurt my teeth, my hangover, and my feelings. So, April Fool's!
Alright, hi guys. There's a Padres game today, so I have to go to find parking because it is going to be a nightmare at work. But here's my outfit for work today. Clearly, it is not my business casual job day. So I'm just wearing this top from Brandy. Got my Lulu fanny pack on because we have them at all times to have the poop bags in there. Camo Lulu leggings also. My hokas and then some ruffly socks. I know I look very dolled up for a day of picking up dog piss and shit, but Alex is going to be showing up while I'm still at work. Just wanted to look a little bit presentable, you know what I'm saying? Because if I'm gonna smell like dog poop and have dog slobber all over me, might as well look okay, right? <laughs> me again in a completely different outfit. Why, you may be asking. Is it the next day? Is it a different day? No, it's still Tuesday. It's 6 15 and I'm going to my other job. I told Alex, you know what? Take your time. I will not be getting off until 10 now. So we will work for a couple more hours, get some more money. <laughs> <laughs> Alex and Alex are back together. Back and better than ever, baby. We're going to Trader Joe's. It's Wednesday. Um, why don't you tell vlog a little bit about what you've recently been through, all your travels? We took a 10-hour drive to see this little lady out here. <laughs> this parking garage, I think this is the line for it right here. Oh wait, no, but yeah. And then take a ticket, but we can get it validated at Trader Joe's. What's your fit check? One of my six shirts. One of my three pants. Into the sunlight. <laughs> Pack sun. PP. Oh. Reeboks. <laughs> um, no, keep filming me. You're my assistant. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to Trader Joe's right now. Come along. <laughs> Get the Trader Joe's. <laughs> Closer, closer. <laughs> it's supposed to be ASMR! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Keep it there, keep it there, keep it there. Don't move a muscle. Wow. Is that good for you? Yeah. This one's yours. Wait, 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 wait. More, more, more. We need to train him more on being a vlog friend. <laughs> Ew. I don't want honey. What? That's the whole part of it! Put a tiny bit on. Can I put it on one half? Yeah. There. You're welcome. It's so nice out. We had no choice but to come to the pool. <laughs> <laughs> but you're like on the phone or something. <laughs> if you ever hear me just randomly start talking to myself, I'm talking to my friends on my vlog. We had no choice but to come to the pool, even for just like 30 minutes, just to get a little bit of the vibes of the day. But the UVs. Nine! Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Are you kidding? I haven't seen a UV nine day in, in I don't know how long. <laughs> She's gonna be talking about it the whole time at work. Soaking up these last 20 minutes that we have here. Alex is only tanning his legs this afternoon. Yeah, because look at my arm. I'm zooming on this. Ow! It's so hot. What's the opposite of a farmer's tan like on your legs? What's like a leg tan? Still farmer's tan? No, but farmers don't wear shorts. Like, um, what would you call that? I'm trying to think of like, not a farmer. What's like, no, what's adjacent to a farmer? A rancher's tan. That's what it is, a rancher's tan. It's the opposite of farmer's tan. Copyright to me. <laughs> Nothing to me because I have work again. That act it. Blah, 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 blah. 
It actually is my Friday because sorry, 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 sorry. It's just for the vlog for a second. It actually is my Friday because I don't have work for the next two days. I am introducing Alex to Better Buzz for the first time. I'm about to get buzzed. We're getting buzzed this fine Friday morning. Look at <laughs> my new <laughs> cute <laughs> shirt. Bitch, it's from Free uh, People. Just look at the back. Hey! I got Did excited, you just I just forget. It? No? Oh my god, I was trying to get his taste test on here. Still trying to teach him how to vlog. What's your reaction? What's your rating? It's pretty good. I like it more than Starbucks. On a scale of one to an iced caramel macchiato from Starbucks, what do you rate it? Um, I don't know. I'm on a weird scale. <laughs> okay, scale of one to ten. I go eight and a half. What if I was more tired and it actually picked me up? Because I already have a lot of energy, so I'm just going to tweak. Well, I'm gonna do some ASMR with mine. Don't worry, I didn't forget about the ASMR. I wanted to pick up my blue. It looks green in there. You're green in there. Probably. Best things in life are green. <laughs> Thanks for helping. If you are a San Diego local, you know about Better Buzz. Oh God. <laughs> we got the best drink ever, both of us, and it actually is the best drink ever. And that's the team. A lot of this video is me kind of just trying to like, oh, only one spoon left. We'll just pretend this is clean. I've come to the realization that a lot of this video is all me being like, I have work, I have work, I have work, I have work. And it's kind of giving the vibe of like balancing school. Oh my God, I'm not in school. Sorry, it's past my bedtime. I was gonna say, it's kind of about like balancing work and social life because I found it to be a little bit difficult to balance relationship, friendship, work, other work, personal life, and personal hobbies. It's not as easy as it seems post-grad with everyone having different schedules and everything too, but, but we make it work as best as possible. All you gotta do is try, you know? But when I've been working a bunch and I don't take time to like do the stuff I wanna do or spend time with people I wanna spend time with, I start feeling myself getting really like irritated and antsy and like taking it out on the people around me when I don't mean to. That stress like carries over into my conversations with my friends and family and stuff. I'm horrible at time management and balancing. So something I definitely need to work on in 20, 24 even though we're already four months in that's new resolution but i wanted to show you this is a part of the balancing it's currently nine oh no 10 58 my microwave is wrong it's currently 10 58 i just heated up the pasta that Alex and i made last night i'm gonna put a picture in because it was so good it was like lemon alfredo with shrimp and like just so many different seasonings and garlic and Oh my god, it was so good. Heated up. Why does that sound like it's not a word? I just heated up my leftover pasta noodles. I'm in my PJs. <laughs> Drinking myself a little hazy. Oh my god, it matches my outfit and my eyes. My friends are all out doing things because it's Friday night. And then Alex is also with his friends out doing things on a Friday night. And now I'm just gonna sip on this by myself until somebody gets home. Whether it's my boyfriend or my friends first. Working nights especially, I spend a lot of nights like this and I just miss people. But it's all gonna be okay because we're doing something fun tomorrow. We're going to like a little, a little festival thing. Just wanted to check in, but I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Happy Saturday from Mr. Tiny Man. Say hello. Tiny is cone free as of this week and yesterday was his first birthday. Happy birthday, Weeder. Do you have any words to say for your future self? I ask everyone this on the vlog. Oh, you're gonna be happy you recorded that, Tiny. Happy Saturday. I finally don't have work. It's gonna be a day full of fun, isn't that right, Nina? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to a festival called Tacos and Tequila. There's West Peak's social media manager in the flesh, ready for a date. <laughs> All right, here's Louina's for you. Oh, hi. Alex has a big event tonight. He's DJing. What do you have to say before your um, set, dude? <laughs> 
<laughs> second biggest fan actually because Anyways, I'm so excited to not have work today and actually be able to hang out with my people. This is what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing this wife beater because I'm gonna put on West Peak shirts when we're there. I'm so cry? No, not actually. Yeah. So much fun, you'll invite us to talk. I know. Yay! We've made it to the festival. Can you vlog for me? We made it! Look at us. I didn't really explain anything, but Rusty has a booth here for West Peaks. Shout out West Peaks. So we're gonna go try and find it right now. Let's and we're go! Gonna, we're gonna rep his merch once we get there. Yes, sir. Thanks, Rusty. We love you. Thanks, Rusty. Music playing, a giant sign that says Taco. After the festival yesterday, we ended up going out late into the evening, so definitely feeling the effects of it today a little bit, but it's okay because we're going to Laguna Beach. It's currently 12.46. Um, we're gonna try and leave before 12. As you can see, we're a little behind schedule, so I hope we still make it while the UVs are popping. But yeah, we're gonna go to the beach, and then we're gonna have a little backyard barbecue with his dad. He's laughing at me. <laughs> Snack reveal. Let's see what he got me. Oh, look at that. Do I get New to monster flavor? Do I get to choose? Yeah. Let's see. We have Ultra Fantasy Ruby Red and Mango Loco. I'm so pumped! I've been wanting these so badly. Ever since I put them in his Easter basket and I ate them. What does Ultra Fantasy mean? I'll have to get weird in here. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll try and see what the fantasy is about. Okay. <laughs> 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 Thanks. Oh my god, I have, I'm a mess in here. This is expensive here. This Utah boy is in the California prices once again. Didn't you miss it here? Oh yeah. I have my <gasps> book for the beach. A little life. Everyone says it's like so life changing. Your camera's gonna fall. Your camera's gonna fall. Oh my! Anyways, I can't really get past page 60, but we're gonna try and power through it today because I want my life to be changed the way people say it will be from this book. Well, I wanna do a taste test of this fantasy, but this car ride is fucking wild. <laughs> <laughs> I have so much shit on me. Get in the lane. 